What's going on, everybody? Alex here from the Football Guys here to talk about the second episode of the Making the Case series. This Making the Case series is making a top five case for a player that has yet to break out into the top five. This week, we are doing Allen Robinson. Last week, we did Michael Pittman. Don't forget to go check that video out. But before we get into this today, don't forget to hit those bell notifications and subscribe to the Football Guys. New great content coming out each and every day. But today, we are here to talk about Allen Robinson and why I think that he could legitimately be a top five wide receiver in fantasy. And I know to a lot of people that might be blasphemous, but there's a real case for it. That's what we're here to talk about today. Allen Robinson to start was literally a top 10 wide receiver in fantasy football in two of the last three years with some of the worst quarterback play in the NFL. Last year, he wasn't good. He had a bad QB, bad coaching, bad offense. I know he's been in the top 10 before while maintaining that, but now he goes to this Rams offense that has been really great to the wide receiver two the last couple of years. I mean, Robert Woods was a top 15 wide receiver the last three years under Sean McVay. He was the wide receiver 12 before he got hurt last year. Like, in, I think that Allen Robinson is better than Robert Woods. I think he's better than Odell Beckham, who both really produced in this Rams offense. Robert Woods was literally a wide receiver one for the first nine weeks before he got hurt. People act like it was just Cooper Cup. Robert Woods is the wide receiver 12 before he got he tore, tore his ACL. He was really, really, really good. I mean, OBJ averaged 13 PPR points per game with the Rams. Woods averaged 15 points per game. And not only that, but Sean McVay and the Rams said themselves that Allen Robinson will be a weapon across the field for us, especially inside the 20-yard line. Remember Odell Beckham catching all those touchdowns? This is going to be Allen Robinson's role. He's still 28 years old. He's about to be 29. This man is not old at all. Allen Robinson is still a really, really good player, and he's never had more than seven touchdowns since 2015. I know a lot of people want to make the argument that he's just this volume guy, and sure, he probably was because his best QB in his entire career to this point was Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles is not a good player. And now he goes from Blake Bortles to Matthew Stafford. That makes a big difference. We've seen it the last couple of years. Remember when Stefan Diggs went to play with Josh Allen and how much better he got when you had a talented player? Or how about this Rams offense that they're already in? And you add in someone like Matthew Stafford over Jared Goff. It elevated Cooper Cup. It elevated Robert Woods. It elevated everybody. And it's going to elevate Allen Robinson. I know that people think that he just absolutely fell off a cliff, but I'm going to go more with the side that it was just bad quarterback play in a bad situation and he didn't get the volume that he's used to rather than it just being the fact that he fell off a cliff. I think it's more likely that he comes into this Rams offense and just does absolutely amazing. And here's the other part. This is a top five case. So I think that he could easily be a wide receiver one because Robert Woods was top 15 every year in this offense, even with Jared Goff. And he was doing it with Matthew Stafford. I think Allen Robinson alone could be a, a wide receiver one. I think he's the most underrated wide receiver in all of fantasy football. But he could also sneak into the top five. And what happens if Cooper Cup goes down? I'm not saying that I'm, like if Cooper Cup gets injured, that's the only way this happens. No. But if Cooper Cup takes a step back, Cooper Cup isn't getting any younger. And if Cooper Cup gets hurt, who else are they going to throw to? Van Jefferson? Tyler Higby? Cam Akers coming off an Achilles injury? This offense is very condensed. There's not a lot of guys to throw to. Allen Robinson is going to command a very high target share, even with everyone there. And even though Cooper Cup is there, if he takes a step back or he gets hurt, Allen Robinson is already going to be really good. He's been a top 10 wide receiver two of the last three years. People are underrating him so much, and you need to be go drafting him because he could legitimately be a top five wide receiver in fantasy football this year. And I think there's no doubt in my mind that it's possible. Is it likely? No. But he's going in the wide receiver 30 range right now. And you're getting a guy that I think has a solid chance to be a wide receiver one and could legitimately end up as a top five wide receiver. How many guys going into the wide receiver 30 range have a legitimate case to be a top five wide receiver in fantasy football? There's not many. So draft Allen Robinson. And what you should also do while you're drafting Allen Robinson, subscribe to the football, guys. New great content coming out each and every single day. You guys do not want to miss.